Hello and welcome. This is Rufamonger, my friends. We are here yet again to talk about more Mortal Kombat 1. Kind of a big deal, especially yesterday with all the leaks and all that kind of stuff, but that's not what this video is about today. Today, we're talking about gameplay, and I suppose hypothetical gameplay, because, well, we have cinematic trailers, sure, but we don't actually have any gameplay to look at. We might have some at the upcoming PlayStation event at the end of the month, but until now, well, we got nothing. And that's a little bit of a problem because what little gameplay we know is actually a bombshell. It's a game changer, and that is the cameo system. So in a very wild departure from how Mortal Kombat usually works, we now have partner fighters, the cameos, and they are effectively our assists, and we call them mid-match. Now, to a degree, this isn't new, at least in Mortal Kombat 11, as we had like our gimmicky items and all that kind of stuff. We could do the hydro rain bubbles, call blood bats, all that kind of stuff. But that's in the more gimmicky single player modes, right? We can even call in the characters themselves and they can do a variety of their moves. But once again, this is for single player towers, all that kind of stuff. It's hardly what you're going to see in like casual mode online, ranked online, or even, you know, having for fan a tournament, right? This is for the single player stuff. It's not the proper game as it were. And now uh, we don't know exactly the shape it's going to take, but now it is going to be baked in to the proper game. And honestly, it was very confusing to me at first that this was a decision they wanted to make until I had a little bit of a revelatory moment in that in a way... This is what variations now will be. Now, uh, the classic variation system of uh, Mortal Kombat X, Mortal Kombat 11, uh, is likely not returning. Ed Boon has said as much in multiple interviews in the past that the variation uh, experiment, as it would, would not continue on into the next game. And as an experiment, I feel it's a worthy try, but I do feel like it's time to move on. Just give everyone a proper full move set. But this is the way, the cameo system, you pick whatever cameo, you, we get whatever gimmicks, gigas, combos, assists, and all that kind of stuff. This is the way to spice up your character, as it were. You pick, say, Sub-Zero, and this time around, hopefully, Sub-Zero is a complete character in and of himself. So, maybe he'll have Ice Clone, maybe he won't, because people get really cranky around the Ice Clone, right? But he is the classic Sub-Zero experience all in one, and we don't need to worry about a variation. And whatever cameo we may pick may be the spice, the variety, the variation instead. Because if they're truly assists in the term we think of them in fighting games normally, well, geez, assists are kind of really defining in a whole match, right? Like, they shape the whole flow of the gameplay. Like, say if we take our boy, your boy and mine, Su Hao, hopefully doing better than he is here in MK11, right? And say he's a cameo character and such an infamously bad character, I think is a good idea for a cameo character. And he has a bounce. Like you do whatever combo, you call him in and he'll rebounce the enemy one more time. And then you get whatever combo from there. So now you're just doing just a little bit more damage than you were before on a combo. That's really excellent. Combo extender assists are some of the most valuable assists you'll find in any fighting game with assists. Now say, let's take a different lesser popular character because for the most part, I feel like the lesser popular character is going to be the cameos like Kai, right? This is Kai's only chance to make it back in the game. So give him at least that. And Kai as an assist, instead he has a defensive maneuver. Like say he can put a shield on you that can absorb say two hits like super armor, hyper armor. Now, of course, naturally, I'm just spitballing here, but this is interesting from a gameplay perspective. Once again, no more variations. We get the full and complete character. Your Liu Kang plays like a proper Liu Kang, doesn't feel like they're missing moves. Your Scorpion feels like they have the entire move set to work with, all the tools that you'd ever hope for. But the cameos are there just to add a little bit of extra flavor. So you always have your Raiden. Raiden works as Raiden should work. But now, do you want Raiden with extra combo ability, thanks to Cameo Character 1? Do you want Raiden with more defensive options, thanks to Cameo Character 2? Do you want Raiden with a strange gimmick that can change the course of a match, thanks to Cameo Character 3? This would be the new way to vary, variation, right? Uh, vary up your game plan. So basically, food for thought. I don't know how this works. We're going to have to wait and find out together, I guess, but... Uh, if you know me, you know this channel, I'm really all about digging deep into the gameplay, right? And the fact that we got no gameplay, we got nothing to look at, is driving me nuts. 
So all I can really do is sit here and brainstorm ideas because I'll tell you from my Twitter, my YouTube comments, all that kind of stuff, the uh, overall reaction to Mortal Kombat 1 is one that is very positive. But across the board, the most negative slash most feared, most misunderstood aspect is absolutely the cameos. People like the direction of the story. They like the characters they're seeing. They're hoping for good gameplay and all that kind of stuff. But the cameo uh, characters so far, I've seen a lot of mistrust. This is definitely the aspect of the game that is most misunderstood and most feared. And people just want to know what's up. And I think from a purely gameplay perspective, this could be one of the most interesting things of the game. Like what if Sector was a cameo character? Not that I want him to be. I would prefer Sector to be a playable character, but what if he was a cameo character and given his themes and all that kind of stuff, what if his cameo move, his cameo assist was say a missile? What if say it was some manner of hidden missile if you catch my drift? And now you start to understand the thought process and logic and why this could be very exciting. Cause if we have anything on that power level for the assists, it's gonna be like defining for the gameplay. Like it's gonna be a massive part. Like this will be more than just the one-on-one -on -one experience. We're gonna have to build your team as it were around your character and the assist that helps amplify or define whatever gameplay goals they wanna achieve. So basically food for thought. This is some of my thoughts and hopes going into Mortal Kombat 1 and whatever gameplay we get and hopefully sooner rather than later we'll learn. And I would love to know what you guys think about this matter as well. Now that said, before we end up the video, I couldn't really just make a video about one specific line here. Uh, they had, I guess you could call a mini combat cast for Mortal Kombat 1 and proper combat casts will return in the future and that is great. And one of the things that Ed Boon said that made me actually very, very hopeful for Mortal Kombat 1 as a whole is that Mortal Kombat 1 has had the longest development cycle of any Mortal Kombat game ever. So basically it's had more time in the oven, if you will, than any other MK game. Longer dev cycle to me means hopefully better overall choices in gameplay. Uh, I, I like Mortal Kombat 11 as a game, but I'm not gonna say I like it more than Mortal Kombat 9 or Mortal Kombat X, right? So uh, just a fact that has a very long dev cycle, hopefully they get to really look at the game, really wanna figure out what the kind of game it's gonna be. And it just, it makes me very hopeful, even more than the usual hope I have for any fighting game to be good. Mortal Kombat 11 was promised to have the longest tail of any Mortal Kombat game, longest support, all the kind of stuff. And that didn't really happen. Uh, I know there's a lot of behind the scenes stuff, the Warner Brother merger too, and obviously COVID couldn't have helped, but hopefully, all the issues that plagued Mortal Kombat 11 and it's shorter than anticipated lifespan means they put all that time and effort to working into Mortal Kombat 1 and thus it will be the game Mortal Kombat 11 was supposed to be the Mortal Kombat game that is supported for more than two years. I would truly and honestly love nothing more than for MK1 to hold its own against Street Fighter 6 and Tekken 8 and be there not only year one and year two, but year three and year four. I want a long supported game. That would be fantastic. But that's just my hopes and dreams, I guess. But anyways, my friends, that is the end of the video for today. So thank you very much for watching. Hope this video has found you well and go out and play some Mortal Kombat.